Our scripture text today comes from Luke chapter 11, verses 9 through 11. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. <coughs> Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which of you parents, if your child asks for bread, will give them a stone instead? All right. May God add a blessing to this reading. You may be seated. <coughs> Now, some of you are not old enough to know the game, the TV show game, Let's Make a Deal. All right, all right. But I understand there's a new version of oh, it out yeah. on TV. You can also watch this on the game show network because it plays some of the old game shows. Monty Hall was the original host yeah. of the game show. Mm -hmm. And he would go into the audience and ask people if they wanted to make a deal. He would ask, if you have a paper clip in your purse or your pocketbook, I'll give you a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. I wish I could make that same kind of deal this morning, <laughs> but I cannot. However, if you have a picture of a loved one in your wallet. I have two envelopes. The first two people that show me that picture, show me the picture. I was ready. It's you. Do not open the envelope. Do not open the envelope. I have some bags up here. Jen, would you be willing to change your envelope for one of these bags? Come on. Yes or no? Okay, come, come up here. Do not look in that envelope. Give that envelope to somebody on your way up. Come on. <laughs> she has her hands crossed. <laughs> you can pick any one of these bags, but do not look inside. Okay. Marsha, would you like to change your envelope for a bag? You'll keep your envelope. Would you like to pick somebody that would that you would like to give a bag to? Marty. Marty, yay! Would you come up, Marty, and would you pick one of these bags? Don't look inside. Don't, don't look inside. No peeking. Now, I have two more bags. Who can show me some money? Show me the money. Come and get a bag. Come and get a bag. Show me the money. You didn't. You notice I didn't say give me the money. I should have said give me the money. There you go. There you go. Do not look inside. Okay. The bag people. Would you like to trade your bag with another person or with someone with an envelope? Or are you happy with your bags? <laughs> Morris wants a bag. Oh, it doesn't I mean, I'll keep it. Okay, I'll but I'm keep just saying. Anybody want my bag? Anybody want my bag? Yeah, Morris will trade you right here. Morris will trade you the bag for the. Okay. There's a few, you know, we could go on. The, the point is, is that um, hopefully you all will get something good. Now, they're not all f that. <laughs> some, there are some things better than others in the envelopes and the bags. So you can open your bag, you can open your envelope, and if somebody's willing to trade with you, then hey, so be it. So. 
See, you never know what's going to happen when you come to Valley Ministries. Okay, now I need your attention. <laughs> Um, the point of this is that, you know, the game wasn't really over till the end of the show. And um, because now the people with the, the two biggest prizes got to p come up, and there was three doors. Mm -hmm. Door number one, door number two, door number three. All right. And, no, they were four. Don't be messing with me. I'm Georgie you and Tom. Go on, I'm sorry. Boy, oh boy. Hard crowd. At the end of the show, then the one would pick one door and the other would pick the other door. But the, the, the thing about this, there was always one of the doors that had the grand prize, the creme de la creme, mm -hmm. the one that you would really want to get. You know, it would have a boat or a car or something behind that door, mm -hmm. some big exotic trip to somewhere, whatever. And that would be the one that they would want. I think life can be like that. We try to make a deal when it comes to our spiritual lives, our eternal lives. And sometimes we don't pick the right door. The great thing about God is that God has perfect vision and knows the doors that each one of us need to open or need to close. The door to our hearts, for example, if we would be willing to open our hearts to God about the doors of our lives, yes. what would we do? Mm. Would we pick door number one, the door of opportunity to become rich in the world? But in the process of the deal, we give away our souls. Well, we pick door number two. But it looks pretty good and has some benefits of hope. But still, it is lukewarm. Or would we pick door number three that has all the benefits promised, even though it may not look like it at first because there's always hidden things behind the door that you cannot see unless you're willing to enter in All right. and enter in and shut the door even I say shut the door on our paths mm -hmm. opening the door is not enough at least it's not enough for me I've often thought about this scripture text that we have this morning about seeking and knocking and being able to pick the right door to open. And I right. know for a fact in my own life mm -hmm. that I have opened some doors mm -hmm. that I wished I would not have opened. Amen. Oh, amen. You know what I mean. I have even shut the door behind me when I knew better. <laughs> And I tried to shut out the spiritual aspect of mm -hmm. life. But what I found out is that you can't, that you can shut the door, but then there is this knocking that continues to happen. Mm -hmm. Jesus reminds us that he is ready to open the door if we would seek and knock. Mm -hmm. Therein lies the problem. Now, some people spend a lifetime seeking and looking for things that are usually right in front of them, but they cannot see.